U.S. Army has now received its first operational examples of the Precision Strike Missile PRSM, short-range ballistic missiles. The PRSM is set to supplant the existing Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS, an older short-range ballistic missile design that has become something of a household name thanks to the conflict in Ukraine. The Army confirmed the receipt of an initial batch of PRSMs earlier today, but did not say how many total operational missiles it now has in inventory. The service has described these weapons as providing an early operational capability ahead of a formal declaration of reached initial operational capability with the type next year. The Army's 2024 fiscal year budget request pegs the current unit cost of each one of these missiles at just under $3.5 million. The Precision Strike Missile will provide Joint Force Commanders with a 24-7, all-weather capability that will counter the enemy's ability to conduct combat maneuver and air defense operations, Doug Bush, Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology, said in a statement about the initial deliveries. The rapid development and delivery of this capability is a prime example of the Army's aggressive use of new acquisition authorities from Congress that allow us to move at much greater speed to get improved equipment to soldiers. The operational PRSMs that the Army has now are baseline increment 1 variants, which have a unitary high-explosive warhead. The missiles are precision-guided, but are designed to engage static targets only. PRSM is designed to be fired from existing tracked M270 series multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, and wheeled M142 high mobility artillery rocket system, HIMARS, launchers. A single M270 can be loaded with up to four PRSMs at a time, while the maximum load for the M142 is two. To date, the Army has declined to disclose PRSM's exact maximum range stating only that it is at least around 250 miles, 400 kilometers. However, a declassified Pentagon Selected Acquisition Report, SAR, on the program released earlier this year says that it is actually around 310 miles, 500 kilometers, and that this could grow to some 400 miles, 650 kilometers. Lockheed Martin, which manufactures the PRSM, noted that the missile maneuvers at hypersonic speeds to align to the target, in a press release the company put out in November following a successful production quality test launch at White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. Ballistic missiles, in general, often reach hypersonic speeds, defined as anything above Mach 5, in the latter stages of their flights. This makes them harder to intercept and also gives designs with unitary warheads an inherent ability to burrow down deeper to engage hardened targets. Traditional ballistic missiles are, however, not usually included in current discussions about hypersonic weapons, which focus on advanced designs with higher degrees of maneuverability and sustained hypersonic flight. Multiple variants of ATACMS that PRSM will replace have been fielded over the years, including types with cluster munition payloads and unitary high-explosive warheads, as you can read more about here. Each ATACMS is physically larger than PRSM, meaning that an M270 MLRS can only be loaded with two at a time, while the M142 HIMARS can fire just one before needing to reload.